up YouTube? This is K-Pop Chaster and I'm here with a episode review for you guys. And um, <clears throat> this is for the uh, new anime that got released called uh, Tonari no Kobaitsu-kun. Um, I didn't read the manga for this so I really don't know the whole story like as much as other people who have read the manga obviously. So I only know the facts until episode 1. Um, overall though I would say that this anime is a must watch. Um, to start off the fall season, I would say this is a must watch. And I'll tell you why. So, it's a shoujo. Um, it's comedy, school life, and uh, romance, obviously. Um, it's got a very interesting plot. And um, for the first episode, basically, um, I'll sum it up for you guys. Uh, there's, a, there's a girl, right? And there's this uh, guy, and his name's Haru, right? And he's kind of like the delinquent. He's like pick, always picking on fights, you know, he's always picking on fights in the school, people are scared of him because he's always picking on fights. Um, and then you have the girl whose name is, um, I'll call her Shizuku. Um, she's very focused on studying, <clears throat> um, really cares about her schoolwork, and you know, the serious type, she's not really childish or anything, she's kind of, she's pretty serious. And Haru being kind of the opposite because he's always getting pissed off easily and all that. So, when we look at the first episode, <clears throat> um, she talks about uh, Haru and his, uh, kind of, um, uh, his problems, because he's always picking up fights, you know, the, t the typical delinquent, right? And she's always trying to study. She's studying calculus in this episode, I don't know, trying to be the top of her class, getting good grades, you know, the typical. And, basically, when she first meets Haru, in this, um, what was it, it's a, some room or something, um, he's seen to be a delinquent, you know, jumping out of the window, which I can't find, I found that kind of funny, um, and she's like, what the heck is this guy doing, you know, and, and so, one day, um, I believe the teacher, he was absent for school or something, or he was suspended or something like that, um, I can't exa remember exactly what happened in the episode, but I remember that, um, she basically has to go to him, you know, tell him to come back to school or something. So she, when she meets with him for the first time, you know, he's kind, you know, <laughs> he he seems to be like thinking, you know, he's always on the defensive. He's like, "Are you a school spy? Are you spying on me?" And then she's like, "No." And so that's how they kind of start off their conversation together. Um, it's, it's very interesting because uh, with uh, Shizuku, he feels at peace, you know. Um, it's obvious that he likes her, even from the beginning of the episode. It's kind of obvious when they first encounter because he's kind of nice. And so she realizes that and decides to become kind of like friends. He considers her as a friend after that conversation. And as the days go on, um, they're in a cafe of some sort and she um, sits with him and notices he has another group of friends except they're kind of I would like to say, kind of using him like a tool, you know, he's like a tool to them, giving them money and all that, you know, asking for money, he thinks those are real friends because, um, you gotta understand that, um, Haru doesn't, he's not familiar with friends, Shizuku is, doesn't have many friends either, you know, she doesn't really have much friends either, but, with this guy, he's, um, how do I put this, he's kind of, He's also an experience in his own way, because he's always picking on fights. So people are scared of him, so they don't interact with him, therefore meaning he has no friends. And so he thinks these guys are his friends, but really they're using it for money. And so Shizuku notices that, um, kind of says, you know, like, I would rather have no friends than have your friends. And so he kind of spills orange juice on her. And she gets pissed off, kind of, throws ice cream or something at him, and they start running, blah, blah, to the next scene. Um, oh yeah, wait, I think uh, before that, a funny scene happened where she kind of, um, he, um, this is just for a last, he, uh, he took her, she's walking, and then she, he just takes her from behind and brings her to the alley, and he's like, you know, um, no peep or I'll rape you or something. I, I was dying at that part because it was just funny seeing him say that, um, but he really, he really wasn't going to do it, it was just for, it was just for last, and so he shows her to a dog, blah, blah, blah. 
and um, she finds out that the dog actually has a collar and so it's an owner, it's not straight like he said it was. And so yeah, that's what happened before the cap scene. I should have said that before, but anyhow, um, basically, you know, considers his friend, he thinks he likes her, blah blah blah, you know. The typical kind of romance anime where he thinks he likes her and he actually finds out he does like her and pretty much um, she's kind of serious type so it's kind of she's always focusing on studying so it's kind of hard but what 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 funny thing I found is in this episode we see that she used to be number one all the time you know in studies but she found out for the acceptance speech when the school started there was another guy who was number one and that was actually him Haru was the smartest and that's kind of funny because delinquent smart doesn't really go together but he does prove that because he solves the math question like just like that, you know, no problem at all. He's kind of the chill, laid-back guy who's like, it's just a problem, what's so hard about this, you know? The typical kind of studying lifestyle that we all wish we had, you know? Not doing anything, understanding the material, and just processing it on paper. It's kind of like how he is. He didn't have to study. He didn't even know what studying is, really. And so, I'll just uh, fast-forward this kind of. At the end of the episode, he kisses her, blah, 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 you know? Um, but he obviously likes her. He's not really sure to differentiate between like and friendship, as she said, because he hasn't, he's not, has really no experience with friends. But um, he does like her, I'm pretty sure. And uh, she likes him too. She probably won't show it as much, but you can see the blushing and all that. She likes him. All right, and that's pretty much um, a quick review of the episode. Um, my thoughts on it, I would, the re I'd say this is a must-watch. It's a really funny anime. Um, it seems to be a very, it has, seems to have a very interesting storyline. Uh, I could see it progressing a lot further. I didn't again. I didn't read the manga, so yeah. Um, I'm going by the episodes, but um, I would say it was it was a good way to start off um, the fall season with the, the upcoming anime. This is a good one though. Um, if you're a fan of shoujo romance comedy, especially this is actually a very funny school life comedy anime. Um, <laughs> it's it's just laughs because you know how the guys are delinquent, blah, blah blah. It's just funny seeing him beating up people and all that. It's just, it's just funny, especially when they have no fault at all. He just starts blaming them and starts punching them. That, that he, that's funny. Um, so yeah, um, definitely a must watch. Um, first, it, as a first impression, I'd say the first episode was good. We got there was actually a lot of stuff in the first episode that ha occurred. You know, um, we have a delinquent, blah, blah blah. He falls in love with this girl. Um, the girl will probably change his ways in the future. I don't know, but uh, overall. This was a good episode. I'd say it's a must-watch. Um, you guys can check it out if you haven't already. Check it out because it is a good anime. And sorry for the phone. Anyhow, um, yeah. Again, that was my my only take on it. Um, overall, awesome. Check it out if you haven't already. And leave your comments below if you saw the first episode and leave your thoughts on it as well. And I'll read them. So yeah, that's pretty much my review. And I'll see you guys later.